we've got a special guest in studio, like we promised you. She's a certified psychological first Ada. And she's also the co-founder of Mending Minds Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome Layla. Layla! Yes. She's going to say Layla. <laughs> Some people are going to think Hold you're going to say Layla Ike. No, 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 no. Hold up, wait a minute. You good? Hang on, Jaquanza, I need to your microphone. Hmm? We have so to do this introduction again. It's, it's a very interesting situation in the sense that mm -hmm. um, uh, Layla, yeah. you good now? Yeah, I'm yeah. good. Yeah. Uh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Layla, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Combox and mm. Kev Matara. Mm. Matara. Yeah. Matara. It's supposed to say Matara. 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 No, no, no. Stretch the <laughs> ah. Ah. Mat <laughs> Matara. They grow up so fast. They grow up so fast. Yeah, like, I remember when I used to call him this when he started the show. <laughs> he really would fight it. It's just so good to see him introduce himself like that. <laughs> Sheila. Rich auntie. Just rich auntie. They grow up so fast. Yes. You know, you know she's, the ri she's a rich auntie. Very, very stubborn. Yeah. Oh, you know what they say? Mm -hmm. You know the rich auntie. You know why she's the rich auntie? Because she didn't have kids. <laughs> okay. You yeah. could have been a rich auntie, but you chose to have kids. <laughs> no, no, you don't have the other one. She's getting a small, small, strong young me, rugby boy. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta, okay. you gotta stay healthy. You got muscles. You gotta stay healthy. You gotta stay healthy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, today, uh, of course, we invited uh, Leila into the studio. Um, you, you, it's not the first time we've had a conversation, uh, and we know that May is Mental Awareness Month. Yeah, it is. It's, it's the month just to basically encourage everyone to take responsibility for their mental health. Yeah, true. And this is a big challenge globally. Yeah. I mean, you know, their countries, them, they've already even, they have ministers to deal with this particular mm. issue, yeah. mental health. Yeah. But uh, here in Kenya, Nikama, we're, we're still catching up. We are, we are not yet there yet. Yeah, it's yeah. a journey. I mm -hmm. hope we'll get there. All right. Yeah. So we're taking the initiative and we invited you today because I know that people talk about, oh, I'm stressed. I'm having mental health issues. I need to see someone. Yeah. But today we want to take it from a... Uh, before you get to that place where you need to see someone, yeah, true. what are some of those things that, or activities or practices that you can input in your day-to-day -to, -day to ensure that you're good so that you, ne you don't reach that place where you have to see someone? Thank you. So, Omiske, the question I've asked Kevin, mm -hmm. do you have someone in your corner who you know day or night you can call them? And a lot of people will answer that question and say no. No. Yeah. Uh, I'll say yes, mm -hmm. lucky enough. But many people don't have that. Mm. Uh, finding someone to trust is something hard. Yeah. And um, being able to share what you're passing through is also so hard. Mm. Yeah. Why is it hard though? Why is it hard? Mm. I mean, someone will come to the you, you, in a social setting. They'll tell you all sorts of nonsense. You mm. know, like, you know, they'll spend so much, you know, brain cells yeah. and energy. Yeah. But then the thing that is actually important is the thing that they won't open up about. Yeah, the problem is many people are so judgmental. Mm. I'll say that for mm. free. Mm. You'll want to share something, but the perspective that person will get it mm. will be always wrong. And yeah. they'll always share it with someone else. Mm. Yet, yet you trusted them with yeah. your information or with whichever, whatever you're going through. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So I think it's a major, major thing. Judgmental people. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. We are all judgmental. Yeah, we're very judgmental. We are, we are all at our, our, <laughs> in our own levels. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're yeah. judgmental. Yeah. yeah. Things yeah. like human nature. Yeah. yeah. When I look around the country right now, when uh, we, especially with regards to matters mental health, yeah. I feel like there isn't enough information, uh, especially from, uh, you know, we're dealing with like kids. I feel like kids should naturally know what this thing is. Same yeah. way they know about, uh, for example, HIV. Mm. Yeah, remember. true. Yeah. Is, um, wh why do you think that's the case? Uh, that's the main case because also in our foundation, Mending Mind Foundations, we are all about early intervention. Mm. What we do, we teach. And our core area is the kids, honestly, because you have to teach these things. Because mm. it's a prevention anyway, because yeah. it's all about early intervention. Mm. As Kwambox had said earlier, um, before you reach in a state of uh, help and uh, a state of taking your medications or whatever, mm. there is a process. There are these things that happened before mm. that you didn't know. Mm. So the moment you have that information, the right information, mm. you can be able to take care of yourself earlier before you reach in that bad state. And, and speaking of speaking of um, you know just putting into into perspective, like if you wanted to uh, get a, you know be healthy, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, physically, mm -hmm. you would eat healthy. Yeah. You would exercise, mm -hmm. you know, before you get things like uh, diabetes, mm. you know, you to keep them at bay. Yeah. So what we want to do today mm -hmm. is give you those 
tips mm-hmm. on some things that you can be able to input in your life mm-hmm. to ensure that you stay mentally healthy yeah, before we get to that place where I say, oh, mental health issues. Mm-hmm. Before we get to that, yeah. um, th- I was reading a study about kids and COVID. Yeah, true. And, um, you know, a lot of parents don't really, you know, maybe don't think of it like, you know, what the kids are going through yeah. during COVID. Yeah. One, their social structures have been taken away. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So you find you would connect to this car colleague of yours from school yeah you talk banter you go play football yeah. you know run around be a child True. but now all that is taken yeah. and so creating those social networks is challenging for some kids right now yeah because you've taken such a long break there's no one you've been opening up to nee, 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 nee. so i also want us to include tips for parents mm-hmm. for their children yeah true. especially during this covid times okay. let's start with the as an adult mm-hmm. Let's use Kevin as an example. Yeah. What are some of the things Kevin can do to ensure that Akitoka kwa nyumba tuwa kofiti? Okay, number one, Kevin. <laughs> what your patient. You? Yes. You're my patient, yeah. okay. So the first thing, uh, people should have this thing called self-awareness. Mm-hmm. Number one, you really need to know who you are. Mm. Stop comparing yourself to others. Stop putting pressure to yourself to mm. be like someone else. Mm. We all have different personalities. Mm. And your personality will save you mm. or will drain you. It's up to you to know where your signature strength are. Mm. Because we'll always be different. We'll never have the same characters in mm. this world. Yeah. Mm. And uh, the second thing is this self-talk. You need to talk to yourself positively. Because wow. ah, me, I'm not worthy. Oh, I don't deserve this job. You get it. Yeah. And it's something that uh, it's really happening in uh, women with leadership. Yeah. You really want to doubt your position mm. in your workspace or in the country. You doubt Imposter it. syndrome. Yeah, exactly. Mm. That is where I was going. So you get many ladies suffer that because we believe culturally that a man, you know, a man should do this. A man should be, be in that position. But I love the perspective of how women are taking the lead in Kenya mm. and not only in Kenya, worldwide. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. But it's but l- we still have that cut out. I don't know. Let's talk about imposter syndrome. Yeah. This is not just something that affects only women. The other yeah. day I was talking mm. to some guys and mm-hmm. they were saying that um, you know, you it, it, it starts as self doubt. Yeah. So and then it just grows it, into you know, I, 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 no, that's not for me. I yeah. can't go for that opportunity. Yeah, true. I haven't studied. I yeah. Haven't. So you're basically giving reasons as to why yeah, you're you not the right person. Yeah, for. you also doubt your credentials. Mm. So yeah. at times, so you feel like a fraud. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So, so how does someone deal with that? Because, you know, that is a, a, a fight that's happening inside your head. Yeah. Yeah. And whether you, someone comes and tells you, but you're good. Yeah. It, it means nothing. Yeah. It means nothing. Yeah. Because it, uh, you feel like uh, you'll shrink your potential, mm. one, first of all, and any positions at your workplace, you'll mm. not be able to take a step ahead yeah. because you always feel like it's not for you, yet mm. it's for you. Mm. You're good enough for mm. that position. So I think we should rise up. Mm-hmm. And uh, seven, actually, it affects 70% of women, mm-hmm. funny okay. enough. Yeah. yeah? Mm. Uh, it also affects men, yeah, mm. but mm. Uh, women are at a major risk yeah. in mm. syn- uh, imposter syndrome. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So it's all about your self-talk, number one. Yeah. I'll stick to self-talk mm. and self-awareness. Mm. We have to boost. We have to be positive in anything that we do. Yeah. You have to say, I'm good enough. When, why am I not good enough? Yeah. Why do you think I'm not good for that position? Mm. So we have to change our self-talk, no matter what. So I understand, I'm understanding now, when it comes to matters imposter syndrome, mm. it's more of a, like an illusion. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? You, th- you, you doubt yourself so much. Yeah. yeah. Until it becomes real in your head. Yeah, you it, find someone who get a job. Yeah. Like uh. you, you've, you know, you, you, you know. Right now they come and say, you know what, Kevin, you're the new manager of something, something. Yeah. And you, even the way you move around in those meetings, you don't believe that you're the right person yeah, for yeah, the job. Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah. Because you, in your head, you're like, but do they know that I didn't go to the right university? Yeah. Or yeah. my background is so. Yeah. Blah. Do they know that in my previous job, yeah. uh, I was I was suspended at some point? Yeah. Nobody cares about that. That's no, all yeah. happening inside your head. Yeah. But but now uh, moving forward with regards to now imposter syndrome, what about the real failures now? Because I saw in also in in, a, in places like Machako, mm. Isiolo, mm. Nandi. I think Nandi, not even Isiolo per se. Mm. We had a situation where in Mashako's about 3,000 girls, mm-hmm. teenage girls mm-hmm. were pregnant mm-hmm. and, and some of them were even getting ready for exams. Mm-hmm. So in a situation where like, like that where society perceives these girls, especially an, an educated society, where mm-hmm. they say, ah, you, you're a failure. You know, these girls will never have a chance for a better future. Yeah. When you engage with some of these girls, yeah, what do you tell them? 
Uh, actually, we really work uh, so hard with these vulnerable uh, groups, mm. the children, the girls, you get it. So you find that these children need hope. Being pregnant, some of them, it's never their fault. Because you find that uh, many of these girls are being molested by their fathers or mm. their close relatives. Being abused by yeah. friends. And, and another yeah. thing as uh, parents, we really need to learn how to, how do I put it? How, how to give positive vibes to your children. Mm. Like you need to affirm your children. Affirm your children every single day. Because when this child gets comfortable with another man and they feel that, Mami wani and Big Viyama, my dad doesn't tell me that. Mm. They'll get comfortable, and that imagine. is where the main problem is. Mm. We're going to take a short break uh, and think about that as, uh, man, that is so crazy. And you know, it's important that you say mm. that uh, for the parents. It's important that what, what Leila has said, give your children positive affirmation. I met someone over the weekend, and they told me mm. that uh, their late mom was not a nice person. Alikwayani anamombia vitu. Aki connect na watu wengine ya kofiti. Mm-hmm. Lakini kwake, anashinda kim, you know, akim tukana, akim wambia, you know, you're not good, you're, you know. And so even when they passed away, mm. that anger is still there. When everybody else is saying, yo, you know, happy Mother's Day, da da da, then they have nothing positive to say about their mom. Can you imagine? Interesting. Imagine. And funny, and funny enough, mm-hmm. that leads to trauma. So easy vitu zinalipu kambele. Mm. Now as an adult, yeah. you can never remember like you'll always remember that thing that you were told mm. when you were young. Imagine. Even right now, Kwambox, I, I'm sure you can sit down now, Kwambox, enye ule teacher aliniambia hivi, ati umindo mtinashika mkia, I'll never have a future. Mm. There is that thing that as a child, you'll never forget. Au ni wape, nili wapeleka kwa saja. Yadu na kumbuka ule teacher wa nini? I hope sayi hata omoka. <laughs> When, when it comes to the you know the question of faith yeah. it matters mental health especially mm-hmm. time we are covid sai people have been so stressed people mm-hmm. have lost jobs mm-hmm. pain family members have even uh, died unfortunately mm-hmm. i mean sing sing some of your clients who are you know have gone through all this what do you what do you tell them how do you even engage because i know some will be like ah e inataka tu maombi but yeah. you as a doctor you're thinking no 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 yeah you need to come to my office. We need to sit you down. Mm. I need to dig deep because I can see your problem. It's a catch-22 situation. How yeah. do you handle it? Are there people who are like, you know, me, I will pray. I will pray it away. I don't need mental health okay. guidance. Uh, number one, I'm not a doc. <laughs> yeah, I'm just a psychological first aider. Certified. Yeah. Sounds like a doctor to me. <laughs> but in <sour> too. <laughs> I'll help you with your warning signs. Yeah. I'll, okay, my main thing is just to teach. Okay. Just learn something. Right. I'll leverage you to the right people. Okay. Yeah, that's my part. Yeah. Like an early intervention kind of thing. Helping people just see these early signs, mm. the warning signs, yeah. red, red flags. Yeah. yeah. But have you ever seen red flags in someone? But then they're telling you that they're going to pray it away. Mm. Yeah, when we get to spiritual, uh-huh. let me tell you, mental health, mental wellness is all around. Yeah. Mm. It reaches a time you need to shrink yourself spiritually. Mm. We have a different, um, what do we call it? Different cultures, religions. religions yeah. yeah. So there's a time it comes down to spiritual. You think it works? It, it uh not really, but everyone needs to see someone. How yeah. dare you? Apart from that, <laughs> yeah. this is a support system. Of course, God first. Yeah. 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 God first. Yeah. It gets to spiritual, but mm. it's the same mm. thing, Kevin. Mm. You get sick. Utaka kwa nyumba useme, oh, mungu saidia. No, you yeah. have to see a doctor or something. Yeah. Same, same thing. Yeah. yeah. But now we are talking about before you get to the doctor. Mm-hmm. Um, we've spoken about, you know, positive affirmation. Yeah. We've spoken about, you know, um, ensuring that you know the things that you're telling yourself inside mm-hmm. your head yeah and the people around you the things that they're telling you about yourself yeah mm-hmm. true now let's talk about exercise mm-hmm. how important is exercise to your mm-hmm. mental health mm-hmm. physical exercise is uh, connected directly to mm-hmm. mental health mm-hmm. uh same same thing when you wake up go to the gym yeah. you come back with a it makes you even have a better day mm-hmm. yeah it makes you happy and all that so physical exercise is also so important mm-hmm. walking to nature mm-hmm. just engage yourself in some activities mm-hmm. okay we are not all gym people yeah. we are not nature people mm-hmm. sometimes these things work Who different is not a nature person surely Maybe. That's there, there? let me tell you yeah. <laughs> 
people are different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, also for mental health, what works for me might not work for you True. or might not work for anybody mm. else. Mm. The same way when you see someone, when you see a therapist, mm. it might not work with that therapist, but mm. it doesn't mean that you don't need to see another. Yeah. It's yeah. a connection. Everyone yeah. has their thing. Yeah. That is what everyone should understand. Mm. Even whatever I'm sharing might not work for any other person, but mm. it might work for someone. Yeah. You get it. Mm. So know what works for you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If it's physical health, you know what to do. You want to have your How do you know run- what, what works for you? How you um, feel? How, how you, you feel? feel? Yeah. How you feel? It's emotional. What you think affects how you feel and how you behave. So how do you know it's a positive feeling? How do you feel? How do you feel? Do you feel? Good? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Kevin, so let me ask you. Okay, yeah. quiet down. What do you do? Nikki. Okay, quiet down. Nikki, quiet down. Yeah. To be honest, do you? Yeah. Uh, sleep. Sleep. Uh, I like sleeping. Zinga, zinga. Zinga, drink, mm-hmm. alcohol. Some. I'm, I'm being honest. Yeah. Just alcohol being. or uh, workout. No, actually, for true. alcohol, <laughs> yeah. let me tell you, yeah. for alcohol, if you think you can cope when yeah. you're down at Ukikunwa, it will work for you. It will never work. It can turn into an addiction. Because but it can give me a positive energy. It cannot for give you short, for just short for a short time. It's short term. Okay. After that, what happens? Back to same, 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 same thoughts. <laughs> yeah, mm. true. So it's very, very wise for you to avoid alcohol mm. when in distress okay. because it's not making things any better mm. it's driving you even back to more um what do i say more what do i say hopelessness yeah yeah <laughs> i mean can you imagine coming trying to come up with a solution for something you're like oh my god my my head is aching because i'm stressed yeah. at work yeah. yeah then you're like you know what hold that thought gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> I'm back again. <laughs> you're back like, again. Yeah. You work, work what? And then now after, uh, you're yeah. back to the you're same back. spot. So you're just you find yourself, it even gets harder to get out of the dark space. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So you make it better by making yourself better. And many people, anyway, many Especially people Kenyans. do it. Kenyans yeah. do it. Yeah. Not yeah. even Kenya. Internationally, people mm. do it. People mm. think I'll use this drug or I'll do this to feel better. Yeah. But it's not getting any better. What about changing your environment? Changing environment. Okay. Actually, environment also affects your mental health. Mm. And changing environment is something uh, that is also important. But you find yourself, um, maybe you are born in that environment. At the moment, you don't have a way out. Mm. You get it. So even if we talk about the environment, it's all about how you can stay in that environment, what you can block yourself from. Because at times we can't pull ourselves from where we come from. True. Yeah. And and uh, just to add on to that, um, <clears throat> from the Hindu, it's one of those subsects. I learned about uh, meditation mm-hmm. a long time ago. Yeah. And there's something they would say in that space of meditation, and talking about especially when your environment is not good. Yeah. Maybe you live in an abusive uh, family. Yeah, your dad maybe mm. mm. or just whatever you are in a scenario. Maybe you're living with a, st- a step auntie mm. or you know something like that. Mm. You can't eject yourself from that yeah, situation. Sure. Or a job that you don't like. Or a job. Mind is a very powerful mm. thing. Very powerful. Yeah. The same way it can create imaginary bad things. Mm. It can create imaginary good things. Sure. Wow. So if you don't have a physical safe mm. space, mm. you can create a safe space inside your head. Yes. So when you're doing your meditation, like for me, my safe space, mm. it's been the same space for close to 15 years. Wow. Mm. It's a tree by a stream. With a nice patch of grass, the perfect uh, amount of sunshine, and the sun is not directly on me. So when I'm having a bad day, that's where I retreat. When wow. everything around me is like, uh, I go to that place. And w- when you meditate so long, you can even hear the water. Yeah, wow. apparently. Yeah, 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 true. And it yeah. grounds you down. Yeah, helps yeah. You meditation down. helps yeah. so much mm. in me- in mental wellness. Yeah. As, uh, to say, mm. some people start with five minutes. It goes to ten minutes. Yeah. And you find yourself even in your quiet, safe space, mm. even mm. for a whole one hour. Yeah. Yeah. It 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 grows and it makes you feel better. Yeah. You know, yeah. we actually had an interesting conversation earlier mm-hmm. with regards to changing environment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to Lizzo or Kenya. Mm-hmm. He, Banai country, if you get an opportunity to leave, would you actually consider it? I mean, you know, it was 50-50, <laughs> but eventually people are now opening up. Oh. Up some Waneza Enda. Waneza Enda. But when it comes to matters mental health, mm-hmm. the problems in this country have been too much. Yeah. I'm just, my question to you is, because I know we're running out of time, would you leave this country you know, just to get like some sort of, uh, how, should, how should I put it? Where are you going to run to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some sort of air to breathe. Yeah. You know? If I was given a chance, yeah. honestly, I will stay. Um, you would? Let me answer why. Mm. Because this is home. 
and I'll never feel safe maybe in a foreign country. I'll always want to come back home. Okay. So I will stay, but it's up to you as an individual to find your safe head space. Mm. Find your space. Find your space. I like that. Yeah. And also, apart from that, you need to know the kind of content you want to engage in. Mm. Okay. If you want to think BBI, BBI, you'll you'll go mad. If yeah. you want to think about the government, you want to think about just, just protect your space. Mm. That's all. Mm. Get the right content. Get the right resources. Instead of checking this um, really draining content, you can just get some. There's a lot. Like, in, you know, the internet is big. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot you can engage in. Yeah. yeah. And especially if you find, uh, well, uh, with that, I'll just finish with gutter in, gutter out. Yep. Trash in, trash, trash out. out. Yeah. True. So yeah. if you're feeling like you're in a down space and you're out here consuming content that's even making you feel bad, yeah. but then you're saying, oh, mental health, you're, mm. you're doing it to yourself. Yeah. Leila, any final thoughts before I let mm. you go? Um, my final thought is um, ah, Kenyans or people, whenever they are hearing me from, mm -hmm. it's so, so important to protect your space. Mm -hmm. Avoid toxic people. Mm -hmm. Be the best that you can be. And in these trying times, it's a good thing for you to find your energy, mm -hmm. your right energy, mm -hmm. and also find your signature strength. Mm -hmm. If you're brave, if you're hopeful, if you're uh, let me say forgiving because yeah. sometimes also that's it takes forgiveness. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's not you guys. Not mine. So, yeah, just find your signature <laughs> like strength yeah. <laughs> and, work yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and work with it and work with it for yeah. real. We can't be all uh, yeah. forgiving. Yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah. I had to, you know, the, the, the thing about turning 30 mm -hmm. is discovering. That you can do everything. You yeah. can never do you, everything. You, reach, you know when you're in your 20s, like, yeah. God, I'm going to start a company. I'm going to be a millionaire. Yeah. I'm going to start. With, then you hear that, it's like, uh, <laughs> you can't do it. Relax the nyash. <laughs> <laughs> you're capable of everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you can, and you can't please everyone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that part of pleasing. Yeah. yeah. Avoid toxic relationships, yeah. toxic people in your workspace, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Avoid them. Yeah. I know sometimes some people think, ah, me lazima ni kwe nobe. It's not a must. Mm. Tembea nani, it's not. Imagine Tembea so. nani. Tembea na yesu, man. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leila, for coming through. It's always a pleasure to have you here. And remember, guys, this is something we're practicing. But there's a one takeaway you may get from Leila Mesema. Mm. Um, you know, your, your strength. Mm. Your, your, you, you called it what? Your signature strength. Signature strength. I want to ask you, as we finish off the show, hit us up on that hashtag on Books and Kev. I'm on Facebook. What do you think your signature strength is? Positive vibration. Positive vibration. Positive vibrations on the morning vibes.